guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And we have uh, Terminator Dark Fate. Dark Fate. <laughs> No mates. Na, 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 <laughs> have sex. Na, na, That's not na, how the theme song goes, but it should. Darkness imprisoning me. How can I breathe? How can I breathe? No. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Ter so Terminator's a weird thing because sometimes Terminator movies suck shit. Um, and a lot of them suck shit. But the first one was I badass. Mean, it, the amazing. second one amazingly ultra legendary. It gets like the credit. And after that, you're like... <laughs> Even though, uh, I guess we're in the, the uh, small camp. I liked... I didn't think it was an amazing movie. I like Terminator Salvation. I call your salvation. I did not like it. But I raise you. I like Genesis. I Ooh. thought it was pretty good. I, I mean, it was good, but it, I just thought it was fun. I did like I did like the scenes with young Arnold versus That's Arnold. That's what I'm saying. That the young the Arnold thing took it over the top cool of me. Fuck, but. So, uh, but James Cameron's back in some fashion. Um, and um, and the dude who made Deadpool's directing this. That's oh. why I didn't do Deadpool. Greatest director in the world, James so, Cameron. Uh, let's fucking see what it's all about. Let's see what it's about. I can't wait to fucking sink my teeth in this. I'm like a fresh fucking donut. <laughs> we go sucking, fucking, and touch. It. Let's make babies. Woo. Two days ago, I had this nice, simple life. And now it's a nightmare. Well, that's too bad. My name is Sarah Connor. I've never seen one like you before. Almost human. I don't know if I like this shit. I am human. Oh, God. Don't do that. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. What? How do we win? We win. We're winning. By keeping you alive. No. I mean, carrots. Um, you know, um, I don't know. It's a weird trailer. I, 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 I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel that I pass or fucking fail. Like, I feel like that. I feel like, um, like it's a class that you love to hate or something when you're going to school. Like, it's one of those classes that you're like, I'm probably doing really bad in it, but the teacher's cool. Like, I think I'm going to stick around. Uh, look. Not a lot, of, not a lot of Arnold in it. Um, that, that, that was the and, one major, and that was cool. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I like to see Arnold, but then it's like, hey, look, cool. The T1000 fucking silky smooth fucking transformation <laughs> was great. Silky smooth. I want some of that shit, but I don't. I'm not fully on board with the, uh, you know, I'm misunderstood because I'm a human, but I'm not. I'm a machine, and I think that people need to accept. I, I think they're letting you know right there that like Mackenzie Davis, who's a fucking badass actress like she's amazing if you guys have ever watched halt and catch fire that is one of 
most underrated TV shows you'll ever watch. Uh, Mackenzie Davis is a badass. And, and if, 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 if uh, someone was going to take the franchise to the next level, I would bank on her because she's amazing. But I agree with you on the fact yeah. that like we've dealt with the, like, I'm the real person. Well, we, literally, I'm a real boy. I, like, we've done that. I, I will stake my claim and say that I said it earlier, Terminator Salvation, but they dealt with that already with fucking what? Sam okay. Worthington was doing the same like, thing. Okay, so here's my thing, all right? Uh, what I what I like that this that this trailer's doing is that, and and it's funny because Tim Miller directed it right who mm -hmm. did Deadpool and you got the main action set piece just like in Deadpool if you guys remember when the trailers came out for Deadpool they were all about that highway scene that's all we got was shit from the highway you got a scene butt like that <laughs> which was yeah which was based yeah. on uh, a piece of footage that wasn't even from the movie the the reel that they did before. To, to get the movie going right. from beforehand. They did the same thing with the trailer and all the footage focused on that. And this did the same thing. It focused on a highway scene, almost going back to what he knows maybe. And I don't know what I don't know what Arnold plays in there. I wish he was in it more. Motherfucker looked like he was in a retirement home in the fucking woods. It like, needed, what are you doing? Every, it always needs more fucking Arnold. But uh, I get the idea of like, okay, we're going to have a group of people that you care about and they're going to be running from or trying to kill a T-1000. And that's a cool idea too because it brings it back to what Terminator is. Yeah. If you're not going to do that though, what I would want you to do is, is think about it. Think about it. Think about Skynet. Think about where we are right now with AI, with all the shit that's going on with AI. Um, if I was doing a new Terminator a movie and, and I wanted shit. to make yeah. a, a fucking new movie, like something that's going to be as big as T2 was, I would do this thing to where AI started to take over and they started wanting to put chips in people and they started wanting to do this thing where, oh, you can use Google in your brain and shit like that, but then that snaps and the system takes people over and we're all just fucking robots. I would go there. I would go, I would use the internet and today's technology to tell a new Terminator story that's actually scary and make Skynet the feature thing about it. But uh, the thing about this is, is I agree with you completely, man. If you're... I don't, I don't know which. I don't, I don't know where they're going. I don't want to watch a self-discovery fucking robot love story movie with a Terminator. Uh, Terminator. Yeah, I've seen title, Bicentennial Man. Yeah, slapped on top of it. Bicentennial Man. I Once. like this. But I mean, Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams was what it was. I don't want to see that shit in this fucking movie. Like, I don't want you having a self-discovery in the middle of a, a goddamn action movie that I want to see come back to the glory days of Terminator One and Two, where it was a dark science fiction fantasy where it was violent and over the top and all you're trying to do is survive the machine from trying to kill you. That's what I want to see. It's a very simple plot, but I don't want to see all the added layers that they're trying to throw in it. The fact is, she might be a great actress, and I mean, I've never seen her in my life. I've never seen Mackenzie Davis. I'm just saying what I saw based on the trailer, that's all I'm saying. I don't want it to be all about her fucking self-discovery of, of her humanity inside of her machine. And then at the end of the movie, be like, I am a human. Like, I don't, like, I could see it going in that poetic bullshit way that they always try to ruin these movies with. I don't want to see that happen. It look, the action sequence looks great. I'm, I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of not. I'm kind of scared now. Honestly, I'm actually more scared than I was when I heard they were making Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, and, you know, Arnold was coming back. Arnold's getting up there in age. I'm like, it's kind of getting, uh, you know, hit it's or miss kind of button now. You're going to have a great, big, juicy fucking role for Arnold to really take this movie to the next level if the time is now. Yeah. Don't have me a side piece now. You brought, him fully now. And, and you brought Linda Hamilton back. And I loved Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton was a fucking badass in Terminator she 1 She seems and like one here, too. Yeah, she is. But it's like, are you wasting her in a movie... Like, that's all it's going to be about is self-exploration and coming to grips with what you are. Like, I don't want to see a movie like that. I want to see, I want to see, like, the James Cameron old ways of doing it. Like, you know, I want to see the action. I want to, There was drama and stuff in Terminator 1 and 2. There was all that shit going on, but it was like... It was a back piece. It was like, it was, it was, it was, it was there. It, the it was like, it was the ambiance that made the film better. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, it, it was something the way that James Cameron directed those films. Now, I could be jumping the gun here and saying that, uh, like, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about the film and, and people are loving it, and that's great. If you think the movie looks awesome, that's great. I, and I think that certain parts of it do look great. I just feel like I don't want them to go the route of, like, uh, iRobot. Or, no, I, get, or, I, know, I, I, mean? I get like, exactly I don't want saying, that dude. shit. No, it's clear as fuck. And, and, and well, they did the same thing with RoboCop. I, Remember when they humanized, like, yeah. the RoboCop, the remake? Yeah, we've seen people deal with their, am I a or not, mm -hmm. before. Like, we've seen that. But... 
Uh, as far as the special effects and the directing goes, I felt like the, and this actually scares me a little bit, like you said, I felt like the interstate scenes, the scenes on ground, looked really cool, and I felt that James Cameron fucking T-1000 when you see him yeah, turning back. it looked back. fucking awesome. And, and you know, we have better technology now, but when you watch movies today, sometimes they don't do it as good as they did it in T-2. No. So it's like, it's this real, like, movie still holds am up. I overwhelmed or underwhelmed? Because like, anybody good. can do this shit, but I'm getting those T-2 feels from it. It feels weird to watch that happen. But the interstate scenes look cool, but the second half of the trailer where we're dealing with the sky shit, I feel like I was watching that one Game of Thrones yeah. episode. I was like, I can't, it's, what's going on? It looked real CG, it was dark. I still have high hopes, can't wait to fucking see it. It man. looks good. I can't and wait to fucking see it. I think that as Terminator fans or, or, or uh, of Cameron fans or, or fans that grew up in the, the 90s and, and grew up with T2 and all that kind of shit, Maybe not Terminator 1, we get to watch that later, but... Terminator 1 was the first movie I ever bought on but, VHS. But T2, like, in 92, I guess it came out, like, we grew up with watching that kind of shit, and that was so fucking amazing and cool, and the story was amazing. Um, I, I hope I hope that they know what they're doing, and I'm gonna give it into their hands. But, by the way, I just want to point out that Linda Hamilton in this teaser trailer looks a lot like William Defoe. <laughs> she looks like William Defoe. <laughs> <laughs> we love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn way up in it. And if you don't subscribe, guess what? You've got dark fate. Cyborg's dad's gonna fucking die. I am human. I'm not the machine. I'm human. I'm not a man or machine. I'm, I'm just, just something in between. between. Oh, oh. We watched a movie. Uh -huh. mm. We watched a movie.